Welcome back, everybody. I know it's been a long time. In fact, my sister-in-law sent me a message today, and she said, haven't seen any videos in a while. Why is that? That's because I've been doing actually more videos than ever. But please go to Blackstone's YouTube channel. I think it's uh, youtube.com slash Blackstone Griddles. So just look up Blackstone Products on YouTube. I've actually been doing the most videos I've ever done in my life, including my dream videos. So we just got back from South Dakota. We did a great video up there. Just so you know, there's some cooking coming up. And uh, we filmed at the famous Corn Palace. We just released a video uh, out at uh, the Prairie Ridge Buffalo Ranch. And there is so much more coming. Stuff from Wyoming, stuff from around Colorado. So please, 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 the people that keep asking me, where are your videos just go to blackstone social media so for now my channel here is kind of becoming a behind the scenes with that being said next week we start colorado elk uh i almost said archery archery is going right now colorado elk muzzle loader hunting that's how my youtube channel got started that was my original love yes i was the rocky mountain meat hunter there'll never be another i'm probably never going to sell these shirts again i hunt because of meat you know i grew up and it was a family tradition we grew up in pennsylvania and we did small game hunting my dad was really good at hunting rabbits and uh, we hunted deer as well white tailed deer remember my dad saying growing up you can't eat the horns so, you know, I have a couple of really nice bull elk on the wall in the house, uh, European mounts, and I've uh, got a lot of cows for meat. So uh, we hunt for meat, we process our own meat. One of the things we like to make when we process our elk and our deer and our antelope is summer sausage. So we are gonna make a simple grilled cheese tonight using this stuff, look at this. That is elk summer sausage. It is the best of the best. If you're gonna buy that, if you're gonna literally buy that from a custom shop, this stick of summer sausage would run you 20 30 bucks right there and we have a freezer full of it that we do every single year now the last time i made tomato soup i had a few viewers that said i can't believe you're using the disgusting campbell's canned condensed soup and you darn right i am if it's my channel i can do whatever i want so condensed soup that's the soup that you know is condensed you mix it with either water or milk so i recommend milk so here's how i do this uh grab some milk you know you could use any kind you know typically we just have two percent but we do have some whole milk right now because our little sadie is drinking whole milk and obviously if you want to have your soup more creamy you know adding something like whole milk uh heavy whipping cream or whatever like that is really gonna give your soup more flavor now this is what i recommend doing uh with the soup i like we found you know you can use basil or oregano but we found that dried basil really takes your uh condensed tomato soup to the next level then either a little bit of granulated garlic or a little bit of uh, garlic powder and of course you can do salt if you want to i won't put salt because there's plenty of salt in there and a little bit of uh black pepper there we go. so mix that up again and you can see the basil's real nice and that'll cook up with the soup so we're going to come on over here to the range top combo we're going to put that down we're going to turn the burner on like so fire it up and let that soup cook uh, meanwhile we have the uh, griddle top on the range top combo here heating up on low let's go over here cut up our summer sausage so these are great uh, we do them in three pound sticks and then typically we just cut them in half put them in the freezer and we use these you know on different kinds of grilled sandwiches we use them for snacking on crackers uh, you can use them in place of lunch meat and it's just really cool because i know exactly what's in there that's uh, essentially uh, uh 80 percent elk and about uh about uh, 20 percent we've got fast and furious living here uh 20 percent uh ground pork shoulder so god willing we'll be making a big batch of this here in the next couple weeks kids love it oh yeah it is delicious and I always try to ration it because you know the fear is what if i don't get an elk the next year you don't want to run out of it and the way we uh put this in our freezer and we wrap it up we double wrap it and everything it'll last you know for a long time so all right but we're just going to cut some of this up uh, we're not uh, inventing anything new tonight. Nothing groundbreaking here. This is just a fun, simple grilled cheese and summer sausage sandwich they're going to do. And so speaking of the cheese, so there's still more from my stash from when I was out in Logan two months ago from Gossner's. Look at this. 
premium baby Swiss, creamy, mellow flavor. So let's see if the knife is strong enough to cut through the baby Swiss. Eh, I think we'll survive. So obviously if you're using a knife, the secret's gonna be cutting it thin. You know, you don't wanna have it so thick that it won't melt. So there we go, that's some delicious looking Swiss. And today we went to visit the in-laws because uh, it's little Sadie's birthday and we stopped at a local uh, local bakery, a little sandwich shop that has really good bread and they sell it day old there. So look at this. This is cheap, day old, but delicious, day old marble rye. Hopefully you can see that. I mean, that looks like, reminds me of uh, an album that came out like, man, probably 30 years ago. Uh, Aerosmith, of course it uh, the Aerosmith album. What was that? Remember they had that, they had that album that had like cow on there? Uh, you guys can put that in the comments down below. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it was. Get a Grip. Get a Grip was the name of that album. So here's what we're going to do. I like to use something like Country Croc. If I was cooking for the masses, I could certainly be using the butter wheel. But we're just going to make a couple of family sandwiches tonight. And so something like Country Croc, it spreads so easily on the bread. Come over here, like so. That one's got a cute little hole in it, so the cheese will melt through that one. That'll look pretty cool. Let's come over here to Cheese World. Over here to Cheese World. Or a Cheese World. What is this called? <laughs> Soup World. My goodness, friends. Look at that whole milk. And you get that basil in there, and that's really creaming up. Get it nice and warm. A lot of people ask about how I prep a griddle. So most of the time, nine out of 10 times, uh, before I start cooking anything, so whether I'm using olive oil or whether I'm using uh, Pam spray, I'm gonna put a coat of oil on the griddle. Now this isn't the case. Sometimes I'm in a hurry and we're doing stir fry or something. I'll just put a little bit of oil in the middle. But nine times out of 10, this is what I do. This is what I recommend right here. That you just make that look nice and shiny. A little bit of oil on the entire griddle top. And then you can just grab those summer sausage discs on there. And why? Because I'm a texture guy, and why not? You know, I like to make things get a little crispy. So we're just gonna put these on here, maybe, you know, a minute or so on each side. And then uh, you'll just have a little bit of texture. Don't need to season them. These things have plenty of seasoning. There's garlic powder, there's salt, all that stuff already in these discs over here. You can come over here, let's check out Soup World. There we go, I got it right this time. Mm -hmm. Soup World over here um friends uh also make sure you follow blackstone on their facebook my videos go up there as well i have a new video that goes out on blackstone it drops on blackstone's facebook once a week and then want a new one that's on their instagram those are the same video every week and a different one that comes in on their youtube every week as well so every week i have two new videos that come up one being on their YouTube, one being on their Facebook and their uh, Instagram, and they alternate. So, again, please get out there and check out that content. Kind of in the initial stages of planning a Texas trip. So, that's going to be uh, hog hunting in Texas uh, with my friend Colin. Uh, shout out to Colin if you're watching. And um, doing some fill to griddle videos down there as well. Might even tie in some stuff. Uh, visiting my other buddy Robert down in Pecos, way out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you would never go there unless you had a friend that lives there. Pecos, Texas, and uh, his store, HTO, to drink some delicious Georgia peach tea and do like a tacos and tea video as well. So pull these off, these look great. You can see I just got a little bit of, uh, look at that, just a teeny bit of caramelization. You know, there's a little bit of texture on these. We're gonna pull those off the griddle. Now we can go ahead and make up some of our sandwiches, I guess. So, uh, soup's really good. I can tell that that's going to start to simmer here in just a few minutes. Uh, again, we're on low, low. We have one off, but I'm still blazing hot. So, we're going to go uh, butter side down. These beautiful slices. That Swiss cheese, you can use any kind of cheese. I mean, provolone would be really good for this as well. Um, but we're going to put just a slice of Swiss. And what do you think for uh, sausage, Kim? Should we just do three? Mm -hmm. Three? Yeah. And we'll cut these in half. These are going to be giant, really, really giant, hearty sandwiches. Um, but this will be like that. People are always people always can't look past can't always look past our ingredients. I noticed today on 
uh, Nate and CJ's video, they said, man, your video was amazing until the end, you put the cilantro on, you totally lost me, I don't like the recipe. <laughs> so if I lost you because of this, just don't put it on there, okay? Figure it out. Uh, let's see here. There we go. So three gorgeous sandwiches are right there like so. You could take something like our extra large griddle press right there, black stones, put that on top. You don't have to. Most of the time I'm making a grilled cheese, I'm not using this. But I just thought of it right now. Another option, you could make sure that those things are getting pressed down into the griddle top. And let's come back over here at Soup World. I'm going to do the finger test. Oh yeah. Mm, oh my, that's really good. So what happens is, you know, you use that milk. You know, you could put a little bit of heavy whipping cream in there if you want to. You could certainly put some butter. And you're basically creating kind of like a tomato bisque. Look at that. Now you can use a hood like this or a basin cover. A little bit of water or an ice cube on the hot griddle top. See, we did this with the elote up in South Dakota. And to create some steam, it'll help to melt that cheese. I could certainly, if I want to, crank the griddle up higher as well. Uh, meanwhile, the soup just started to barely simmer right there. Look at that. So dinner doesn't have to be uh, groundbreaking. We don't need to be showing you a brand new way to, you know, wrap the bread inside a taco shell or anything nuts like that. Just having fun. All right, so that's starting to melt. Let's do one more dose of the water here. Yeah, we're just going to stone, uh, steam that cheese. There's that summer sausage here, by the way, if you want to see that. <laughs> if you guys want, a lot of people ask about videos. They're like, hey, Todd, you know, you talk a lot about the summer sausage. Can you make a... No, I can't. Because I've got like 50, 60, 70 videos on us making wild game summer sausage and all that. So just go back in my archives here on my YouTube channel. 600 videos, I think, approximately, here on my uh, YouTube channel. So lots, you know, I went crazy years ago and just did nothing but wild game before I transitioned to uh, girdling wild game processing videos. Am I an expert at processing wild game? Absolutely not. But we found out what works perfect for us and we're able to do it and save ourselves a lot of money. It still costs a lot of money to do it, but we could save ourselves a lot of money and do everything we, we like for ourselves, make the sausage we want, and we get it perfect. And we know what's exactly what exactly is in there like so okay and let's grab a knife over here let's go ahead and cut this can you see that yeah mm -hmm. perfect let's see. Oh, by the way look my thumb is looking a little it's got butter on it my thumb's looking a little better i <laughs> finally grew a new thumbnail after uh the hammer accident back in end of may or so so that is what we're talking look at this look at this look at that look at that that looks gorgeous funny how you seem to show up when the food okay, is done so, Levi. That's Levi. Say hi. Hi. I'm going to go ahead and kill this burner all together over here. We're going to set this over here. Dog's going crazy, so we'll try to keep this quick. Here's that soup. If you want to come over. That beautiful tomato soup, which started with Campbell's Condensed. Folks, there's nothing wrong with taking a product from the store, but augmenting it, making it better. You know, I think Dez calls that zhuzhin thing as the up. And that's exactly what we're doing here. So let's... Come here, Bo. Get the sandwich over here. I'm Friends. Excited to try it. Oh my goodness, look at that right there. Look, yep. There we go. I'm trying to get that perfect picture. As I was getting ready to say, let's give it a try. Look what Levi did. Go ahead. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> he started eating it. So here's how I give it a try. Come on in here, Kim. Down here, down to the soup. Mm -hmm. So look, you gotta dip in there and get some of that soup. See, growing up as a kid, I would never eat tomato soup. But the one exception I would make as a kid is I would dip my sandwich in there. So, my goodness, whether you're not whether or not you like tomato soup, you will like this. Here we go. Give it a try. Mm. Think about too this like marble rye. I can't eat it plain, you know, cold, no way. Toasted. Toast is the way. And how do you toast it? You toast it on a blackstone. What's good about toasting things on a blackstone? Crispy on the outside, moist on the middle. It's not dried out. I'm telling you, this is restaurant. Restaurant cooking on the back porch, man. Biggest question always is how do I clean a griddle top? Well, this is something that was really not messy at all. There's no sugar here, there is no mess. So. Because I didn't have sugar, I didn't have a yucky teriyaki stir fry mess. I'm going to do a light scrape of my griddle top, like so. I'm going to grab some paper towels or cotton towel, whatever. 
be careful you slip and fall whose fault is it it's yours and i've slipped i've slipped before and i'm not paying attention so just don't um you want to clean your grill top off like that and then grab some cooking oil whatever kind of cooking oil you have whether it's coconut oil avocado oil corn oil you get the point and then just give it a little rub down like so my griddle is clean i'm ready for the next recipe whether it's crepes pancakes or shrimp scampi or i'm ready to put it away for the night so thanks for watching everybody come on over here levi <laughs> come over here buddy here come on look at the camera thanks for watching everybody now we're going to say uh pass the sandwiches okay until next time todd and levi we're saying praise the lord and pass the sandwiches the sandwiches